morning, guys. How are you? Oh my god, I just realized I didn't put any lip gloss on. Oh my god, the horror. <laughs> Please excuse me today. I'm still not feeling the best. I haven't been feeling great since I woke up for my last live, and that was like how many days ago? So if I was a little bit like quiet on like Friday Night Live, that's that's kind of the situation. And I only have one light on today and I already feel like I'm being blinded. <laughs> I like woke up, so it's like 5am for me. I woke up like 4 and I'm like, uh, can I cancel? <laughs> and I'm like, no, just think of it as a job. Just put on a little bit of makeup and just carry on. <laughs> So it actually feels weird. I'm like looking at myself and it's weird because there's like a dark patch because I don't have my other like little light on. <laughs> oh man. Hello Miami Spice. Yes, second Easter. <gasps> I have um, I have Greek Easter today. It's quite a thing because last Sunday, so actual like normal Easter, um, I, I spent editing, <laughs> so I was working on my, um, my tattoo video. What timing? I just woke up. Oh, hello. I really want to pronounce your name. Can I just call you Song? Cause that's just so much easier. Thank you. <laughs> hello, white rabbit. We don't have second... <sighs> Uh, I think that would be literally disastrous implications. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey Val, how are you? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry for my attire. <laughs> you know, if we can chat a whole lot for the next seven minutes, we can start the game with an advantage over Mel. Yeah, I can. Or I when I jumped in here, I already saw that there was like a lot of messages. And I'm like, damn you guys, damn you guys. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stream for today. But I have I have some show and tell. I have something to open up and show you guys. This is this isn't an idea. Or what? Not an idea. This is what I'm going to attempt for a video. That feels mean-spirited. <laughs> it's kind of like cheating in checkers against a seven-year-old. We're already going to win. Yeah, I know you're already going to win. Deary me. I don't know, my niece usually kicks my ass at checkers when I was seven. Fair enough. I'm super mean spirited. No, you're not. No, no mean spirit in this here. I want this chat to be all lovely and friendly. Everyone's gotta be like super kind to me because I'm not feeling well. I actually feel like I'll really, I had a coffee. Now I kind of really feel like I want a hot chocolate. <laughs> And now I've got to deal with my in-laws today and I'm just like, just please leave me alone. <laughs> hey, great day, mom. How are you? Never look at that picture. What picture? What picture are we talking about? Wait, cold sore. She told me it was a curly climb. <laughs> Dude, who are you hanging out with? Mel, I'm here to love and support you. I have to work while you're alive. Oh, I'm so sorry. I won't be chatting much. Love you. I love you too. Thank you so much for all your support. I'm looking up help for cold sores right now. Oh, yeah. You're, you're stuck with that stuff for the rest of your life, eh? I'm happy I don't get them. Just a lump out now. Did you check on the nail biting situation too? What, what did I miss? Am I like missing chats? Are you guys having like secret chats behind my back? <gasps> hey to Helen Vax, so glad that you're here. How are you feeling? Also need more sleep, but not happens. Yeah, I know. What is sleep? Is sleep real? Like honestly, I, I'm doubting this at this point. I thought FNL was alive. It is alive. But... It's not Friday. Got to wait until next Friday now. Uh, I don't know. Oh well. It happens. 
You look good in the contrasting light at least. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> it's so funny. I did that for my videos. So, because I kind of normally film a lot of my videos when it's like nighttime because I, I want the lighting to look a bit contrasty. And I was wondering going... Like the last couple of videos that I filmed, I'm just like, why is my background so dark? Because I've got my new ring light and it's really goddamn powerful. And I realized I didn't have my second light on when I was filming. Because I'm like, eh, that light will be enough. Uh, it still made my background look different because I've got the other one that shines towards the back. But I don't think anyone cares about that. Oh, thank you for listening, Rabbit. So glad that you're here. Oh, yeah, it's bit more slam is on today. I want pictures, please. Yes. I, I'm going to take pictures and I've also enlisted Mad Max. I'm like, so when you're, when you're helping your brothers down at the lamb, I'm like, you've got to take some video for me. It's required. And he goes, oh, the YouTube fam, they, they want to see it, right? But I'm like, hell yeah. I'm like, we need to, we need to show everybody this lamb. I really hope, like, I really hope that it's, it turns out good. I'm sure it will because like, so Mad Max is one of four brothers. And um, so like the second brother, he is like a genius with like barbecue and stuff like that. And like, if you guys are watching Friday Night Live yesterday, I was trying to remember what, so like, so with the Greek meats, like with the barbecue and stuff like that. So you've got the, the souvlakia. And then you've got like the the whole lamb, right? I was trying to remember what the other rotisserie thing was called. It's contusuvli. So like you've got like the pieces of like meat or like stacked up on like the rotisserie skewer thing. And yeah, so it's like, it's like, it, I feel like it's a little bit between, it's sort of, it's a larger size of like a, a souvlakia, but it gets like rotated like on a little spit thing. If that's the way of saying it. So that's what I was trying to figure out yesterday. <laughs> and I finally remembered what it was. And it was like partway through a conversation. I'm like, yeah, I can't bring that up now. That's so stupid. <laughs> hey, hey, Wolfkinder, how are you? All right. Well, yeah, I don't know what to say about it. Val, Val got a wrench. I feel like I'm I'm already losing track of things. This is not good. Song is fine. Yeah. I will. I will. I will get to it. I promise. I promise. Oh, man. Why do I decide to do these things at like 5 a.m.? <laughs> I'm a nutcase. Like... Yes, an unboxing. Yes, I'm sorry, it's called Bob. Um, I, I apologize. Val is a, is a wrench haul. What can I say? Like, he's a very, very, very experienced wrench. And he's also a very, very, very good behind the scenes friend. So, I don't, I, I don't, I don't like squabbles about wrenches. I, no. Reference uh, is that Easter comes from the word and holiday. I, I, my pronunciation is going to be butchered here. Ostera, which is the spring equinox. If we had two of them, something disastrous would happen with tides or something. Oh, this is like doomsday stuff. My goodness. We all love you, Squab Bob. You're like the most favorite squabs of all the Squab Bobs. We love you. Never, never think that we don't. My goodness. Hello, Jen with no filter. So good seeing you. Hey, Texas Jen. Oh, you guys. Heading out for some shopping fun, but I'll be back hopefully soon. Oh, have fun shopping. Oh, my God. you got to tell me what you get. I, oh, guys, I, I have a problem with. With, with shopping I don't know if I should get into that now or leave that story for another time because I I'm, I'm I may have purchased something which may have been a mistake but there's a reason for my mistakes 
and there's a reason why I do things. Although I feel like there is no no reason why I do things. A lot of it's just like YOLO. <laughs> just buy it. It doesn't matter. You can just sell it. Slept in and doing well. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Oh, my God. I'm losing my voice. No. <laughs> yes. Everyone should be living their best life. I feel like I need to get to that point. I need to like... I need to like hurry up and like do something with this channel and I need, I need to start like smoothing with the um, smooth, schmoozing with some of the, the bigger creators to try to like boost some stuff in the algorithm here. <laughs> oh, thanks for asking. My arm's about 90% better. That was an experience. How's your, oh, yeah, uh, if, to Helen back really needs to to tell her story of what happened. Poor thing. I don't know if she wants me to to tell it, but the oh my goodness, it was just her story is insane. My arm is better, so like I I injured my shoulder at the gym. For anyone who doesn't know, so like it was an overload injury. So it was when I was doing shoulder presses. So like it was after after all of the, the Christmas stuff because that advent calendar took it out of me. Like I was so super stressed doing that and I shouldn't have been. It's so silly. Like it's just little shorts, but I felt like dedicated to do that like every day at the same time. I was like uploading it, something ridiculous at like 4 a.m. And I kind of got myself so stressed out, I stopped going to the gym. And then when I went back, I'm like, yeah, 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 I can just lift the same weights. Yeah, no, I couldn't. And I ended up hurting my shoulder. And I ignored it for like another six, seven weeks until I finally saw a physio where I'm just like, oh my God, I'm, I'm not getting any better. This is actually getting worse. So I had to see a physio. And luckily it's, it's now a lot better. And one of the trainers at the gym has now taught, cause the gym that I'm at, it's, it's like a single run gym, but it's actually fairly large for what it is. So, um, they, they do a lot of stuff to sort of like, they're, they're, they're very much just like, if you're part of the gym, you're part of the family and they, they do a lot of like challenges and just different events and things like that. And the one thing they're doing now is like a deadlift challenge. And so one of the trainers talked me into doing that and I'm like, oh, why did I do this? I was just like, nah, take a break from it. And he's like, nah, come on, Mel, you got to do it. All right, sign me up. So that starts next month. We'll see how I go. I'm dropping Mallow DM on cold sore and nail biting situations. Ooh, oh, nail biting. This is why, so I used to be a nail biter and then I stopped and then the acrylics, I uh, say acrylics, and this is shellac. So it's just like, it's nice that like my nails, like with the stuff on them and like nice and like hard so that I'm not super worried about breaking them. Although RIP this nail. Yeah, the top bit ended up I think it ended up like when I showed you guys I think it ended up like breaking like the next day and I'm like oh, and you know what I broke it on opening a packet of um pods for the knee espresso because like it's got the little like triangly bit that you kind of press in like press it in and bang and I'm like <laughs> I got 12 dollar led lamps from walmart as my camera lighting works great yeah, this one is like from Kmart and it only cost me like a few bucks. But the other one, because I wanted a ring light that I could... So the one that I was using before was meant to mount a phone. But every time you'd mount a phone to it, because my phone's so heavy, it just go, it just flop over. I couldn't hold the phone. So I bought one of those like really like big ones off Amazon. So it can actually hold three phones at the same time. And I'm like, why would I want to hold three phones? Like it literally has three phone holders. And so, but I've got it like set up that I can have a phone and I've got my little vlogging camera attached to it. So like it's, it's easy that I can kind of like do this or do like a video and stuff. So... Oh crap, I didn't know you were alive. I just wrote you a whole number. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> don't read it till you're done. Okay, I won't. I won't. Yeah, like I was, I was gonna message and be like, oh, I'm about to go live. I'm like, no, no, no. Clumsy's on a roll. No, it's fine. I actually turned off the um the Discord on my on my laptop because otherwise, like there was so many like notifications coming through, and I'm like, oh no no no. Otherwise, you guys will be hearing the the, the Discord notification like twenty four seven because I don't have the um the AirPods in. And yes, hello to everyone. His name is Benjamin. Yes, we know. Uh, good Lord. Did I miss Tom? Where is Tom? I didn't see him. Am I blind? Am I losing my am I losing my marbles? I feel like I am. Oh my goodness. Am I guys, I apologize if I'm Hello Tom Gillis. Uh, <gasps> There he is. Hello. I'm so glad you got alive. <gasps> look, you said one day that I should just go do lives. And look, here I am. I'm following everyone's advice. Isn't that cool? I may have some nasty stuff that takes terrible and hard to wash off. Uh, that would keep you from biting your nails. Oh. He's looking out. He's looking for it. He's looking it. I figure if I go to bed after Mel's show that I can avoid a bad day altogether. Well, bed is always good. It's like after um, after Friday Night Live yesterday, all I wanted to do was just like crawl into bed and go to sleep. I was just like, I don't want food. I don't want anything. I'm just, I want to go to bed. <laughs> Dude, what's with the wrenches? Relax. I'm I'm only new to this streaming thing, okay? So like once everything gets bigger and sorted out, we will figure everything out in time. You guys are like my friends and we will all figure it out. Okay? I love your comments. We all love Scott Bob's comments. Are you having buyer's remorse or a cute, over a cute little furry bag? No, I bought another bag. Since I bought that bag, I've actually bought two bags. Actually, <gasps> no, I've bought three. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, stop me. Jesus. But one of them was... One of them was expensive, but not at the same time. It's all, it's all, it's all relative. Oh man. Schmoozing with bigger creators. That's exactly why I'm here. <laughs> Ta-da. I'm still here, kind of. <laughs> well, be here for as long as you would like. Hello, Leslie. And, and yes. <laughs> Are you referring to my shoulder, letting it heal? Because, yeah, like, because I, I've, I've, I've tried to let it heal. I'm, I, I have to see the physio less. I, he didn't actually tell me when to come back. So that's a really good sign. Because it was like, when I first came in, like, I, I, like, because they do like a test of where, you know, they're like, oh, push up, push up. I couldn't even do that. I had absolutely no strength in my arm whatsoever. And then, so now in the last session, like, yeah, strength is back. And like, he was getting me to like, so he, he tied like a, a three kilo, like dumbbell to like a, one of those like stretchy band things. It was making me like walk around holding up this thing going, yeah, all right, go walk around with this. I'm like, oh, do I have to? Yes, to have shopping. Oh, have shopping. Have fun shopping. Dear Lord, the coffee hasn't kicked in. The injury wasn't her chocolate tossing shoulder. No, it wasn't. It wasn't at all. The best shoes can only be tried on. Oh, yes, my friend. Hey, cool frog. How you doing? I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. 
It's like, because you know why? You stream now when I'm asleep. Like literally your two shows, I'm, I'm, I'm dead to the world. <laughs> Safe to first, folks, especially with ladders or elevators or electricity or fire or at the gym. You can injure yourself anywhere. It's really bad. You can tell it. It's funny now. Although I swear. <laughs> it's hard to me now. The elevator never came and now it comes all the time. Oh, so uh, to Helen back was missing for a little while and she came back and she's like, oh, I'm able to um, write with, oh, I'm able to use my arm now. And I'm like, what happened? And the poor thing. So she was escorting um, a lady onto an elevator and then another gentleman was asking for directions. He was outside the elevator. So she kind of was like stepping out to kind of give him directions. The elevator door closed and she'd put her arm in to stop the lift, but the lift door was closed on her arm. And cause you know how like, cause what I thought normally is that there's like a, like a safety thing for the elevator doors of where, you know, like cause I've done it so many times of where you wave your arm and then the doors will still open. Um, and so, yeah, she was worried that the, the door was going to like take her arm off. I was like, I heard that. I'm like, Oh my God, poor thing. And then um, she managed to kind of sort of like push her way in to get her arm out. And it turned out that, that the woman inside was actually accidentally pushing the closed door instead of the open door. So she's, 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 she's better now. So thank goodness we have our two Helen <laughs> all in one piece and, and she's healing and that she can see the funny side of it now because that would have just been so scary. Oh my goodness. <laughs> The list keeps growing. Yeah, Leslie, I feel like we don't I feel like the I feel like we don't see you a lot. Girl, take it easy. I'll try. You know what? I actually have a, a dodgy wrist as well because I I um I had it like I, I heard it boxing. <laughs> Cause for my body, I have really, really, I have really, really like tiny, tiny like wrists and I didn't strap my wrist properly and I, yeah, I, I hurt my wrist. So that was a, that was a good few years ago now, <laughs> but yeah, my wrist was never quite the same. Probably should have used a different adjective. We are alive. It's still not quite real to me that I actually go live now. It's so weird. I, I'm just, I'm just talking. I'm talking to a computer screen right now. It's, it's the strangest thing in the world. Like, if you haven't gone live by yourself, like, I never quite understood the whole thing behind this of how, um, how, yeah, how difficult this can actually be. So I, I feel extremely blessed to have, have people in, in my chat. Like I couldn't, I couldn't imagine going live with no one here. I, I'm, I'm extremely blessed. Discord has a streamer mode. So it silences the notification. I need to find this. <laughs> I need to find this ASAP. <laughs> You'll have to teach me your ways. Marbles are fun. Marbles are fun until you lose them. I, I think I lost mine a long time ago. Texas in, you have you have someone come through your reading last night. Go watch it when you have the time. I also I also sent Texas Jen her her timestamp as well. I, I I try my best to to keep my, my angels in the loop. Okay. <laughs> It's fine. It's all fine, Texas Jen. Start a farm. You'll quit biting your nails quick. Oh. <laughs> I'm just imagining. Yeah, that would. I can't, I can't imagine that would be quite gross. Being out of town, doing great. Oh, I'm glad you're doing great. Red Gen V. <laughs> Aww. 
sending lots of love, Texas Jen. Three bags means she has a problem and needs intervention. Yeah, I, I quite possibly may need an intervention. I may, I may, oh, you know what? Maybe that's a story time for my next live. <laughs> Mel has a problem. Let her explain. But I swear, she doesn't, she, she, she has a problem, but she doesn't have a problem. So I'm assuming you're talking about my tarot collection and learning to read them. No, I don't need an intervention. I'm like you guys with purses. My guilty pleasure is shoes. I bought three pairs this week. Yeah, you know what? My thing with shoes is that... Like, I want to wear them and I don't want to wreck them. Know what I mean? I, like, I, I, I just, I can't, I can't, like, I, I like my shoes, but I try to find sort of like decently priced ones because I tend to wear my shoes out so they get trashed. It's just because I love my shoes and I wear them so much. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, you weren't showing up on my streams. How rude. My goodness. Yes, let it heal. I will, I will. Uh, I'm going to erase it now because I just wanted Clumsy to see it. <laughs> no, no, no. Shh. I want all the shoes and bags, yes. <gasps> right, Robert, do you want to do a stream about that? I feel like I'm going to need to like bring some people on. I don't want to say show because it's just me like chatting away. I don't, I, I don't feel like this is a show. This is literally just me like hanging out with you guys. It's not a show at all. Paint leather. I don't like paint and leather. I don't like it. I don't know if it's the shine. I always feel like it's going to go sticky on me. I think maybe, I think maybe... Yeah, I don't know where I got that thing from. Like, I don't like the, I don't like the feel of patent leather. Mm -mm. I don't like it at all. It's just like also like, you know, like the really like like the Saffiano leather and stuff like that. The really hard leather. I'm like, mm, I don't like that either. I like like buttery soft leather. Hello, expert. I hope all is good there. Yeah, no, they're, they're not fun. You see, is it? I oh, know it's a girl thing. I want all the shoes and bags. I just want all the bags. I love bags. And you know what? I did, I did so well before I bought that fluffy bag. I, I, had, I literally had not bought a bag in a year. And now I bought that fluffy bag and I bought three more. It was like jeans. I hadn't bought. I was so good. I'm like, Mel, you've got so many pairs of jeans. You don't need to buy any more. So I had like three or four that I mainly like wear, right? And then, because you know how like clothing, fashion goes through all the different trends. So like all of my skinny jeans, because like skinny jeans are out. So all of my skinny jeans. So I've got a, a gas lift frame bed because I'm in a very small apartment and I need all the storage that I can get so I've got like all the storage that's like underneath my bed is literally like the leftover bits of my wardrobe that doesn't fit in the wardrobe and in my in my drawers <laughs> so all of my like skinny jeans because I'm like I've learned this lesson I'm I'm old enough now that fashion has recycled so many times and I don't like buying like cheap things so like I'm I'm not I'm not the type of person like not anymore because you know like like when you when, when you're young and you don't really have that much money you just go and buy you know like the cheap stuff from like H&M and Zara and all that kind of stuff like the full like super super like fast fashion whereas now I'm like no 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 buy pieces that are gonna last you so I don't buy like the the super expensive designer stuff but I buy the stuff that's you know like better quality that will 
last and it won't, you know, like it won't stretch out weird or lose its shape and all that kind of stuff. So I purposely, you know, buy stuff that I know that will last the test of time. So it's just like, well, skinny jeans are out right now. So they all get put away. So, and you know how like, it's all like the, the, the wide leg pants. Yeah. Around my birthday, I just decided. I'm just like, yeah, I, I saw a pair of jeans on someone. I'm like, oh, I think it was on like Instagram. I'm like, I, I love those jeans. So I ended up buying, I think it was this like dark wide leg jeans or something like that I'm like oh I need those jeans and I found those ones and then I found like a pair of white jeans and then I wanted like the wide leg flared jeans and I ended up buying like four pairs of jeans around my birthday they were all on sale and jean shorts I'm not a big jean short person but I love my jeans You'll think silly when you see me walk in 6-inch heels and a plaid skirt. Well, it's a thing. You're a woman after my own heart. Shoes and bags are completely useless, honest. Well, this is coming from a guy. I'm actually I'm actually quite fortunate that with like with Mad Max. I'm just like, oh yeah, I want to buy these sneakers, buy whatever you want. Because <laughs> if it's your money, you just buy whatever you want. Actually, he's the one that, because uh, before I was kind of like, no, 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 I shouldn't buy anything. I should just save my money, which is how we ended up with a deposit for an apartment. But that's a different story. Um, but he's just like, you know what? Go, go enjoy your life. Go, go buy the things that you want. Ta-da. Yes, it's always a good day for that. Is Cool Frog here? Hiya, buddy. I really wanted to stream with someone this morning. No one's Texas Jen, you're going to have to come on with me. <gasps> and Miami Spice, yes. Pretty, please, please. You've got to come and stream with me one day. Can we organize this? Yes. I love your earrings. Oh, thank you. I actually, I don't change them that often because I try to buy stuff. So this, when I had like my, my really really long nails I had my hair done and I couldn't quite put the hook this back in with the thing that was in here so it's just been dangling ever since and yeah so I try to I try to buy like not not super expensive but not like super cheap jewelry because I've just got so many piercings and um my this is a my ears are bougie they don't like cheap metal, so my ears only like gold. <sighs> Accidentally pushing the closed door button. Right. <laughs> no. I'm here to like and chew bubble gum. I'm all out of bubble gum. I've been out of town looking where to move. Oh, that's right. Didn't you? Didn't we ask Clumsy one time? Um, where you should move to was was Vegas one of the options? I got a feeling that that was. Oh, I love you. Mwah. You should get a shake weight. You know the shake weight. No, I don't. What the hell is a shake weight? Oh, you just wanted me to do that movement, didn't you? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, look. Behave. There is, there is no. Uh, I know that you're just pissing yourself laughing at me right now. I hate you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, thank you. I did. <laughs> I stopped myself before I went too far. Oh, you guys are awesome. We need to start chatting in stream outs. We just got to go live. You want to go live? Just tell me and we will. Mm -hmm. I've streamed to an empty room with no chat for years. You get used to it, but I've also always been. Yeah, exactly. You've had something to do while being in chat where literally it's. Hello. Hello there. Um, it's just me, myself and I here. 
Oh, actually, I've got to do this soon. 36 minutes in. I have an unboxes. I know you guys want to know. It's not that it's not that exciting. It's exciting for me, but you guys are like, really, Mel? Really? Uh, I wouldn't have been able to stream like this. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Hey, Yamaha Biker. I'm so happy that you're here. I thought one AI to another would be normal. Oh, well. Um, I'm sure someone will. So it's the the gaming one. And I think. So if someone, if like Jen with no filter wants to, to drop his link, that would be fabulous. Having a bag full of marbles is over already. I know. Yes, please. Here's that like for me. Uh, I do drum covers and such here. And then at Nocturne Gaming, that popped in earlier is where I stream games since I got booted from Twitch. Why, why do people get booted from Twitch? I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Your thing is shows with... Why? Hang on. Your thing with shows is room. Okay. Okay. Oh, I uh, Oh, man. I am... Oh, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh dear toss a gucci into chat and let's watch the <laughs> no you know what i'd just be like meh i mean with that beard i've got to have some amount of love oh everyone needs love <gasps> hey did you be how are you I feel like you like disappeared for like two weeks and we like didn't, didn't see, we didn't see you. I missed you. You mean real leather? Well, no, well, technically, you know, Safiano leather is real leather. It's just got that like hard pressed treatment and stuff on top. And like Peyton's got that like clear coating on top of it. It's still leather, but it's not the same as having like a nice... Rich buttery leather. I feel I'm I'm so sorry for any anyone that that's that's vegan. Anything below thirty ounce leather is snobby. <laughs> yeah, well, Yamaha Biker would know. If he's one to ask about, if there's anyone to ask about leather, it's um it's Yamaha Biker. Did you show it the new bag? No, I haven't showed anything. I've 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 never showed. I haven't showed anyone anything. This is this is this is in the bag. I wish it was. Although that'd be a very tiny bag, like that's the size of my head. <laughs> Mrs. Valhalla has lots of bags. Coach and a couple of Michael Kors, and I think Kate Spade. Ooh, nice. I've got. I've, oh, I don't know where I put my Michael Kors bag. It was like because I'm I'm not a big fan of like big bags, and so this is like a a big like. Michael Kors bag. I think it's somewhere buried under the bed. <laughs> um, you know, I know that I focus on drums on this channel, but what if when I have more people regularly, I did a weekly stream doing tarot cards? Why not? You know what? Even if you don't have that bigger following, just do it anyway. Just do it. Just have fun. Why not? It would be fun because you know what I think. I think that's the thing that I'm learning. It's just to, even if I didn't have anyone in here, I just, you know, you you don't know unless you try. So I'm I'm literally I'm literally trying all of my avenues on YouTube right now. So I'm try, like the most thing that I've done is shorts because, let's face it, they're 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 an easy thing to upload onto YouTube right now. Um, and I'm trying with the videos. So I did my, finally uploaded my, my tattoo vlog. Oh, that just took, I feel like that took forever. I love anything Kate Spade. Shoes bag belts. Oh, yes. Um, 
like I felt like that to tattoo vlog took absolutely forever because so I was recording a bit on my camera so I had it all set up for like time lapses and stuff like that and then Mad Max I'm like I'm like oh can you please like get you know like some close-up details and like if you could get you know like some like panning details around like the tattoo studio and like get some conversation and stuff like that and he was dropping the ball with the conversation so like he'd kind of like film a bit of like a close-up and then stop filming and then we'd start talking I'm like you're missing the conversations, man. <laughs> so, like, um, I think there was, like, one bit in there where he was, like, missing the conversation. And then there was, like, other bits of where he was filming close-ups and then then trying to get conversation with me. And I'm, like, why, why are you, like, zooming in on this and then trying to get conversation with me when – a lot of the close-up stuff, I'm going to set to music. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, if we're having a conversation, at least try to like have it a little bit further out so that you can actually see me talking. <laughs> and he's just, and that's why, you know, I'm, I was, I was, I had that bit going, Ugh. I'm just like, I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to ask you to help me again. <laughs> I'm like, dude, help me out here, please. Because I was just, I, you know, like vlogging is a very like once, you know, once it's over, it, it, it's over. Like there's no, there's no redos, especially when you're doing a tattoo. So I hope that it all came together okay. So it was mainly me taking time to try to figure out the flow. So, because I haven't, because I've never really attempted anything like that before. And I kind of explained that at the end of the video that we're not experienced vloggers and like we don't have gimbals. As soon as we finish filming that, I'm like, oh my goodness. I go, we like, if I'm going to do any more kind of like vloggy stuff, I, yeah, we, we, we need gimbals because that's a lot more easy so that you get like the smoother like pans and things like that. I didn't think about it at the time. And goodness me. I think it was my high school girlfriend's cousin. She called Jujubee. <laughs> Actually, it might have been. Oh, that is funny. Um, you should split your skinny jeans and add a flare with different fabrics. Oh, really? Nah, I don't want to cut up my jeans. I'd rather just buy. Because I don't, I, I don't like having too, too many jeans. I just... I like having a select few. Actually, I was that because um, it's so funny. I think I've got like two pairs of actual flare jeans. One pair I bought like years ago when I was living down in Melbourne and, and flares weren't in at the time. I'm like, oh, but these are really cool. They look really cool. I'm just going to get them anyway. And then flares came back and I'm like, look at me. I'm above my, I'm like ahead of my time. It must be because I'm Australian. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't do jean shorts, but love to cuff the boyfriend jeans. Oh, I love boyfriend jeans. Everyone's going on going, oh, no, boyfriend jeans aren't flattering. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I think all tarot cards are going to spontaneously combust on Greek Easter. Well, we shall see. I hate wide leg jeans. I'm not, I'm not skinny to it. <laughs> you know what? I think it. With with uh, with all clothing and all different types of clothing, it's literally just trying to find the ones that like flatter you. It's that's why I don't buy too many because I feel like there's only so many that will like flatter body shapes. There's the, like the, that's another thing. Don't buy like cheap cheap clothing because it's never flattering no not really I, I don't really do a panel I, I don't know what I'm doing with this so we shall see for the future though oh what did I miss hang on I literally did have that with a pair of jeans I grew out of when I was 16 oh nice and yeah yes get a panel sometimes you're wrong <laughs> all right we shall see I shall, I shall maybe organize something for the future. What are boyfriend jeans? 
and just uh, just any you steal from me in the future. <laughs> I woke up to a storm. I love thunderstorms. You know what? I I I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of of thunderstorms. They like you like. They, they tell you that you know, like the the rain is is like you know therapeutic for you to sleep. No, if I hear rain, I can't sleep. Of course, your angels will stream with you. <gasps> yes. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have a chat. <laughs> I need gold. Oh man, we all need gold. I went to sleep with a storm and I suffer from PTSD. I can be in a bad mood for no reason at all. I think most of us are like that though. Uh, their men's style jeans rolled up a few times. Ooh. Gold prices are out of the roof right now. Do you mean through the roof? Ooh, look who's all fancy. I hope you don't mean me. I'm not fancy at all. <laughs> Um, I love you and hate you at the same time too, Val. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's that's horrible. Don't do that to me. You want to go have spies? Yeah. How rude! <sighs> when I was young, I asked a friend's mum why she got shake weights. She said her hubby said she wasn't strong enough. Oh my god. Oh, dear Lord. Uh, my platinum is too shiny. I can't fit it, fit all the, the Benjamins in my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a slow bird joke. <laughs> oh, thank you, Leslie. I'm trying. I'm trying. How many hours do you need to get m me? Oh. Uh, to be monetized, oh, I I've literally just hit four hundred hours, so I've got another what three three thousand six hundred to go. Um, I'm I'm not getting monetized anytime soon, which is quite scary. But I'm trying my best. I just I just need to go viral, guys. I just need to like randomly get, you know, like six or seven hundred subscribers in one go and just be like, guys, just start watching. Just start watching everything. And before you know it, bam, I'll have all the watch hours I need. Yeah, I just. I was booted for Twitch for undisclosed offsite reasons. Oh, okay. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Honestly. Don't start squad, Bob. No, I'm not close at all. Words are very hard. Like, you're... Like, look right now. I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Run the stream. 14 here. Well, it's actually showing 15. I'm like... <gasps> There's actually 15 people watching me. Like, why? I did disappear. I'm back now. Well, I'm glad that you're back. Please don't disappear on us again. I need to go get coffee. Oh, my God. I... We will see you when you get back. Although I'm possibly very behind in stream. So I could actually... You could already be back by now. <sighs> then you're bonafide. I, I, I wish... I wish. I'm stupid. I should have started to to do this earlier. Yes, I know. I know. I know. You guys told me to stream earlier. Yes, expert. I know. <laughs> you're the one you want when someone. I was just like, this channel boring. How rude. I'm sure that you're. I'm like, sure you're not meaning mine. <laughs> Three hours. Sorry. I claim no expertise, but I can cut lines, stitch, and skive. 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 Who has an older sister named Lauren? 
Yeah, see? I knew you'd already be back. Oh, you got another sub. Your tattoo is beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah, like, I wasn't expecting it to turn out as pretty as what it did. I was so worried. Like, that's why I made that, like, little, like, clip beforehand. Because I just... Because I wanted to show, sort of, like, the whole thing. And like, I just did the intro just to kind of be, like... You know, just, just, just my thoughts before walking in. And it was all just, like, yeah, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm worried because yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a, I'm a little bit control freaky like that. Oh, that probably just sounded very, very wrong. I'm glad Guava isn't here clipping me. Um, like, oh, I, I want to know what the finished thing is before I walk in. <laughs> so I didn't know what it was going to look like until I got there. And then when I saw the design, I'm like, oh, my God, that looks perfect. Because originally I was just like, oh, because originally she was just like, when we were originally talking, she was like, okay, yeah, that she'll do some of the, the peonies with the hydrangeas. And then because when I first talked to her was in December. or no, no, it was December. So my husband had had three. So I was kind of like, I'm not going to um, – to book it in straight away I'm gonna sit on it for a while because I wanted to get it done closer to my birthday because I was originally gonna be like oh yeah it'll be a birthday thing so and my birthday was in March so I put it off like three months and so in that time I was just like oh I'm so worried about how hydrangeas look because so many times I've seen pictures of hydrangeas and they just they don't look like hydrangeas hydrangeas are so hard to draw so I'm just like, oh, maybe I should just be like, just tell her, just be like to do maybe just one big like peony or something like that. But I'm, I'm glad that it was what it was. I missed that one, but I will find it. Yay. I didn't hear bags when Mel said, <laughs> Mrs. Val has a lot of, what bags? Oh dear. This is my accent getting in the way, isn't it? Um, I got this really wild pack of coffee K-Cups today. Is peanut butter cup, peanut butter cup coffee. Jean Sophia. What do you mean peanut butter coffee? See, we miss out on so much stuff in Australia. The only, the closest thing, oh, the only like thing that I've had is like a new espresso coffee that tastes a bit biscuity. <laughs> Boyfriend jeans are too baggy. Yeah. I don't like super, super. I don't like like the overly baggy jeans because then I feel like I look fat. Just in case you Mel's, missed Mel's tattoo video. Oh, why do I have to not be well today? They either fit until you wear them for four hours or they don't fit you until you wear them for two days. <laughs> I hate flavored coffee, hot and black. That'll do it for me. Oh, um, there's a guy that I watch. So like when I first started watching YouTube, I was watching like mukbangs and stuff like that. And then I started watching competition eating. And um, there's a guy, Eric the Electric. I don't know if anyone has seen him. Like he does like a lot of like eating stunts. And he'll go through like a drive through and order, you know, like a ridiculous amount of food. And then he'll like order a black coffee and he's just like, and then he'll like turn around and be like, black like my soul. <laughs> oh dear. I hope the cards don't combust. Yeah, I don't, I don't hope the cards don't combust either. That's not nice. I make peanut butter toast and have a cup of coffee with it. I have not had peanut butter coffee. I'm interested in your review. <gasps> Maybe we should all try peanut butter coffee. I hate the rain. Yeah. Oh, I, I like the rain, but hate it at the same time. I've got to be in the mood for rain. I don't like it when I'm sleeping. But I'll let you know when I can't make me toast. Rude. 
We all know Levi's are the best. I love my Levi's. I love my Levi's to death. I really wish I had kept my old, my old um, Levi's because <laughs> my mum bought me a really nice pair of Levi's and then I was into grunge music and decided to completely rip up my jeans and my mum was just like, well, what the hell have you done? I'm like, I made them better. Like, hello. <laughs> This is this is this is what you do as a fourteen year old girl. Rain gives me anxieties. Yeah. Oh yeah, mud and mold. Yeah, no. You you want to make sure that your house is well ventilated. I ca I can't I can't do I can't do mold. I hate mud. So I've never done like a tough mudder. I'm trying to switch my wardrobe to all skirts and hot topic pants. Nice. Let me know how that goes. I have a dog that wigs out from storms. Yeah, it would. Doesn't Volstorm have the same problem as well? The only time I like rain is when we're um, at a place in the country, have a metal roof and sound soothing. Oh. Yeah, was it one of my – so one of my brother-in-laws, he has a – like a farm that's a few hours drive away from Sydney and I'm pretty sure their place has a metal roof. But it's like, it's it's really old. I don't think the installation's the best. I haven't been out there and I'm just like, mm. I've got the cutest black and white blood chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Let me know and I'll show you um, the white rabbit's gimbal warm. She can reveal for you one-on-one. -on -one. Nice. Yes. Yeah. I bought, I think I bought, bought one on Amazon for my phone but I need one for the actual camera I haven't actually I haven't tried out the one for my phone yet I've only like I've had it inside and I've just tried it out like but I haven't recorded anything on it yet actually maybe when I just I was just like maybe when I go shopping maybe I'll try it out I need to I need to wear one of my big bags to carry it around with oh my what, what am I talking about I'll just get Mad Max to carry it for me Oh, rain makes me sad. Mm. For tips, what's for tips? Yeah, I'm getting there. I, I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah, I. Uh, it's it's literally because of the streaming. So before I started the streaming, I was on like 91 hours. Okay, I will, I will. Oh, thank you. Mostly watching for the shake weight, Joe. I won't fall for it again. <laughs> you need to grow your channel at a pace you can manage comfortably. That's true. That's very true. Uh, like, um, Easter was actually, Easter was actually pretty cool. So from doing the shorts for two weeks, I think I had, I think I gained between 50 to 60 new subscribers. So that was, that was awesome. But I'm just like, I forgot I set that up. <laughs> if you'd like to buy Mella coffee, you'll get there. Um, you have an awesome channel. Plus you're one of a kind. Oh, thank you. I'm 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 just I'm just an Australian girl, not quite knowing what I'm doing. I'm finding my way, and I really hope I catch up on chat soon so I can so I can do my little unboxing thing. I think I should set up a set up a page on my site. Okay. Control freaky, nice. I knew you'd have a comment about that as soon as it came out of my mouth. Ah, <laughs> that's controlled freaky. <laughs> oh, that's way better. I hate trees and flowers. I, I, it's, I don't like those things of when it's like hay fever season because I've got really bad sinuses. So that's, that's probably why I'm not feeling the best is I've got a feeling it's, it's yeah, I've something's wrong with my sinuses this week. 
chat leave a comment on the videos you watched it helps the channel yes it does and i i greatly appreciate it i actually i love seeing like all of the comments that people leave i'm i'm actually super super fortunate that um no one's come along and has left nasty comments although i i have turned on um approved comments but i haven't seen any nasty comments even actually on my on my shorts I haven't really had any nasty comments. I had oh, one of my Christmas ones. I had something that was in, I don't know what language it was. I think it was in Spanish. Um, and I translated it and it was something to do with why am I, why am I wearing dark red lipstick or why am I wearing that lipstick? It makes me look horrible or something like that. And I'm like, okay, that was, a, that was like the, the short that was like, 5.2k or some views or something my goodness i mean peanut butter cup coffee i don't know okay is that where you want to go because that would be cool haven't done trader joe's i'm too old to be a hipster and the coffee is decent my god i can't keep up <laughs> I think I want stronger peanut butter flavor to it. Yeah, I, I'm guessing there would be like a, a fine line between the flavor of peanut butter and the actual flavor of coffee. You've got to go to Lowe's again. Oh, yeah, you guys, I, I don't, I don't envy you with fixing the place up. I had a buddy in the army that would shoot his Wranglers with bird shot. It actually looked pretty cool. Interesting. Three pairs of HT pants and one skirt that I can't wear in public. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, good luck. Lows. I get a lot. <laughs> Have fun with the home stuff. I only like styling stuff. Actually, I want to... Um, I was thinking of trying to redo the other room. But I don't know. I was thinking of just moving around the desk from where it was. But I went in there and I'm with the with the laptop, with StreamYard sort of like on just as like as a little test thing to see how the background would look. And I'm like, it doesn't look as nice as this. So and then I because I'm like, oh, so if I want like my bookshelf in the background, then I kind of have to have the desk closer Otherwise, it just looks too far away in the distance. And I'm like, I don't like. So I figure out what to do with that. Otherwise, yeah, like to have like the desk really close up to like the bookshelf. So it's not like too, too far in the background. And then I don't know, the room will probably end up looking small. I don't know. So I've got to reconfigure that room so that it's probably easier to stream. So maybe I can do videos here and then stream in there where I'm sitting for a few hours in a comfier chair I found I found like a really like cool chair it's like this like I think it was like a, like a faux like white creamy leather I know it's gonna get it's gonna look filthy after a while I like color furniture I feel just starts looking grubby after like a few uses it's really bad and it's it's like it's low but it's like really really wide and they show like a, it's perfect for the office and like chicks can like you know have like their legs crossed and stuff and I'm like oh but then I showed my Max and he's just like oh but there's there's nothing for your head and I'm like oh, I don't know if I really want a gaming chair mm -hmm. decisions decisions buy me some flowers just joking actually I don't I don't mind having flowers I like having flowers as like a little bit of a decoration thing Mad Max doesn't buy me flowers so if I want flowers I gotta buy them myself <laughs> oh shoot speaking of flowers I better go steal some from my mum's garden just in case Juju finds my house looks like we have to go pick up some flowers for Leslie while we're there <laughs> don't let me forget oh you guys are so funny Gotta understand, I got no hang ups, just gotta pay. I have no income. Just good coffee and good cooking skills. Well, good cooking skills will take you a lot of places in life. Uh Gigi, if you thought I was I was staying, I would I would buy lots of blooms. 
I can feel how exasperated Mel is with me. <laughs> I hate trees. How do you hate trees though? It's all Bob loves trees. We're all a big family. We all love each other. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Honestly, I I should not stream at like five a.m. a. It's because you have chocolate in your shorts. Yeah, it's totally because I have chocolate in my shorts. I actually wanted to do a short being like, why did YouTube call these shorts? It's getting me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh, no. Come see the damage my trees did here. Oh, no. Oh, that's a bad comment, but... Did you laugh when you read it, Cage? It feels like a paper cut of a comment. <laughs> Let's talk about the trees. It's just like, I guess we're not all tree huggers here. Ball of yarn. Oh, Jesus. All right, I need to like... Flowers are a bad long-term investment, ladies. Well, I only do it because they're pretty. Like, it's just a few flowers just, just to be on the table. Dust in the wind. All right, well, since I caught up on chat, and it's only been an hour, I must be boring. It's gone down to like 11 people in here. All right. Let's see if I can... Oh, a bit of ASMR there. Jesus. I bought a new smart TV tab. Ooh, nice. What size did you get? Because, like, my Max, because we've got, I think the one that we've got here is, like, a 42-inch. And he's like, it's not big enough. I'm like, we're only in a tiny little living space. Like, honestly. I already said it's not another bag. My Lord, am I going to have to do, like, a... A thing showing off what I, what I, what I get. I was actually, because what I got probably isn't in the best condition. So I half wanted to do a, um, a video on it to be like, all right, let's, 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 let's see if, if Mel can fix this bag up. How is this thing wrapped? My Lord. All right, let's see if I can. Let's see if I can, yeah, the big reveal. I got fluff. Yeah, what else is in here? Oh, like this is the place that I got it from. Like, cause you know how like places put um, business cards in? This is actually like a magnet. Oh. Bit of ASMR. Yeah, we finally got to there. Yeah, we finally got to the unboxing. So, um, because <laughs> is it dinner? <laughs> um, um, so because of doing all of so, it, let me try to get my train of thought. Here. Every it's so bad when I talk to Mad Max. Every time. I, I'm thinking of something and then I take a pause. He tries to finish my sentences for me. It drives me up the goddamn wall. But like, I guess I do take very long pauses, but it's like, dude, stop trying to finish my sentences when that's always wrong. <laughs> um, so because I, um, have gotten the most growth out of, from doing the shorts on like chocolate stuff I'm like let let me I'm like oh, let me <laughs> I'm gonna let me do something um I'm going to maybe do a few bits of food orientated content so I've I've never I've never had fluff before in my life we can't actually get it on the shelves here in Australia so I had to buy this from a like a specialty shop 
So I think I'm going to order another one. And so this is why I need you guys help. I need you guys to help me with like, like brainstorming recipes. So I didn't actually look up. I found, so I've got like a, so what I was going to do, I was going to do like trying this out. I was going to be like, oh yeah, you know, Australian tries fluff for the first time. And so I was going to, um, my shorts lead to growth confirmed. I mean, who doesn't, who, who, who wouldn't like my shorts? People like getting into my shorts, apparently. Where's Guava to click this? Like Jesus. <laughs> um, sounds good. Oh, good. I'm glad it's stage. I'm glad that it's good. Just be you. Oh yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Why are you always laughing at me for? Oh, well, I must be a comedian or something. You know, me and my shorts. So, ah, look, it even says on the back, fluffinara. Hang on. So yeah, so I was gonna do fluffinara, and then. So who was it? I think it was um, to Helen or Great Day Mum. Someone said to put um, uh, I know why Guava is missing gold. I've never had fluff either. I thought fluff was something else. What like like instead of toot is fluff? Actually, I think that's what my parents used to say. Instead of tooting, it was, you did a fluff. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Do I bicycle? I've got a bicycle on the garage. I think it would be fun um, if we gave you quintessential American recipes and you tried them and judged them. That's. Exactly right. So that's what I was going to do. So I was going to do it like a fluff and that are. And then someone said to like put it over um, chocolate ice cream. So I was just like, ooh, that sounds, that sounds interesting. So, and then somebody else said, oh, actually, you know what? It was, I don't know if I should, I don't know if I should expose myself. But it was someone that I was talking to yesterday. Um, so I also feel like, Yesterday took it out of me because oh, there's 12 people here. How wrong could this go? Be sure to share this live. Ask people to sub. Yes, please sub. But like, I don't think there's anybody new here. Go for a walk. It would kill a few hours. Well, I was considering doing it because of um, streaming so early. I was thinking of doing like a, a sunrise stream. So walking and showing you guys that. We'd make her fat. She's not used to the greasy green. <laughs> I think when I was in America, I think I gained a, a good few kilos. <laughs> and I tried, to, I tried not to eat super unhealthy. Yes. There you go. The chocolate ice cream with melted marshmallow is good. Yeah. And so somebody else was saying to me to do s'mores. Um, we don't get graham crackers here. The closest thing that I've read. So like I found, I found like an, an article from like an American that was in Australia and she was like, oh yeah, no, there's no, um, I'm new here and found your channel by typing famous people from England. I'm not from England. I'm Australian. But please subscribe. I'm sure you will love it here. We have a very, very, um, very lovely chat here. Expert is saying upload. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah, I've got to make, I've got to make more content. The content is here. Um, actually, yeah, so I was saying before. So to try to do a sunrise stream because like I'm down the road from the beach. So I thought that that would be cool. Um, <laughs> Mel is about as far from England as she can get too funny. Yeah. I think it's like a 12 hour flight. Bell, you're famous and English suddenly. I know. 
This is a fun stream. Oh, thank you. Then <laughs> Um, yeah, so I thought that'd be really, really cool. Like if you guys want to see, um, a sunrise with me one morning, but like, cause it's been really overcast and rainy here. So it hasn't been like the best weather to try to do that. And as I was saying before, yeah. So I've read an article from a, an American chick that was living in Australia and she said that the closest thing that she found was like digestive biscuits, which is actually an English biscuit. So, um, but I might, so what I want to do, so I might, before I do stuff, I might have a little quick trip to, I, I don't really go to the American stores. I know, I know. Um, but I might, I might have a look online to see if I can find any graham crackers and maybe I'll try to do like some s'mores with the fluff in the air fryer. So I might try to do that with like, what else? Also, oh, look, I'll show you guys. So I found, so I found this article. So let me, let me share my screen. I haven't done that in a while. All right, hang on, share screen. What am I doing? Share. So it is, oh man. Is that better? That way you guys can see. Or is that a little bit better? My goodness, pressing buttons is hard. I want to get you to more time. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's just going back and rewatching my streams. Yeah, um, yeah, because uh, it's it's even even if even if my streams are just in the background, you just let it go to play on your device and just walk away with no volume on. <laughs> that helps me greatly. <laughs> uh, if Mel doesn't end the stream with right now, right now, Cheerio. <laughs> I feel like I need to put an accent on on the spot and. Ratio Cheerio. No, that's a really bad accent. I apologize. It's 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 hard it's hard to, to break the Australian accent. Since I don't know your belief, Skillet is a Christian forward metal band. No offense if Lisa said that. Okay. Yes, please like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on. All of the YouTubey things. Oh, hey, Crystal. Um, are you still in Bali or are you back now? Crystal. Most Australians originally come from the British Isles. This is true. Um, I would do a grilled cheese, but with the fluff and fruit. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. <laughs> you trying to start a fire. <laughs> Skillet is rad. Put the cream to work. Yes. First one was better. That? Is that what you mean? Um, my dad used to use fluff with peanut butter between... Oh, that's one of the things I found in here. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. <gasps> hey, Paz. So glad that you could make it back took a very long time and i missed my own birth oh are you serious oh no you're gonna have to have a um a makeup birthday party oh hey james thank you so much greatly appreciated so glad that you're able to stop by i gotta go i'll finish watching on on replay oh yeah thank you and yes happy belated birthday crystal i do I do. Yeah, graham crackers are just digestive biscuits. But I want actual graham crackers. I want this to be like as authentic as possible. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to do things by halves. Mel goes like full charge or like nothing at all. It's like all or nothing with Mel. Yeah, take care. Great day, Mum. And thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you guys so much. It's mildly addictive. 
Uh, that's like saying Australian food is what happens when the Brits figure out flavour. Hey, hey, hey. Food talk getting me hungry. Yeah, sorry. I'm I'm trying to figure out my my next my next video idea. So I'm using I'm using I'm using chat as my like brainstorming session. <laughs> All right, well back to this anyway. So turn that jar of sticky goodness into something spectacular with these marshmallow fluff recipes. Caramel brownie bites. Oh, it's actually a video. I don't know. So that's one idea. Hang on, which is the one that I found? Lamingtons? Mm, I don't know. Would you mean like put the um the fluff because instead of the um the jam to put um why did you pop up? Rouge. These look cute. Chocolate marshmallow cutouts. Make a rich fudgy cookies that taste like brownies with a marshmallow filling. I usually use heart-shaped cutters, but I've also left them uncut and filled with pink marshmallow cream. Well, I've just got the standard one. I haven't got any flavours. Oh, who else mentioned um, fudge? Was it to Helen Bank? Fudge. Making fudge with, um, with the fluff. Here's an idea. Mel sends me a box of Australian treats. I send her, <gasps> yes, oh my God, can we do that? <gasps> Imagine we did it as a live so that we stream together and then we can like test out the different stuff that we send each other on live. Do you want to do that, Juju? Oh my God, how much fun would that be? <gasps> oh my God, yes. That's such a good idea. I love it. Americans don't know the goodness of lamingtons and yeah, try the fluff instead of cream. I'm confused because lamington, so lamington's right. So for Americans, so a lamington, you know what? Let me, lamington. So images. Okay, let me find one that's actually got. Oh, excuse moi let me. I'll come back to this just so I can show you guys what a lamington is. Let me share this instead. <gasps> Look, I'm learning buttons, guys. So, oh my God, what's with the pop-ups? So that's what a lamington is. So lamington is, um, it's a sponge. It's like a sponge cake, right? With typically jam in the middle but a lot of people make it without the jam in the middle and then you roll it in like it's not straight chocolate it's more of a um, more like liquidy chocolate so that it soaks into the sponge and then that when the chocolate's still wet you roll that in in coconut so that's basically what a lamington is so crystal what do you mean the, the do you mean like you know how like where does the where does the cream go? And a lot of the time, so I've made lamingtons before because my my father in law, like he's 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 Greek, but he grew up in Australia and he absolutely loves Australian things, right? So lamingtons and sponge cake are his favourite, and um, so he, I'm falling behind in chat, um. GGB, love that idea. Um, yeah, so I think my mum told me this trick that her sister used to do. Oh, my God, ads. Can you, like, go away? No. Oh, I hate pop-ups. Um, instead of using sponge cake um, to use Madeira cake or, like, a pound cake or, like, butter cake. I don't know what it's called. But, like, a, like a more denser more denser cake and then it's kind of a little bit more a little bit more rich okay so i've explained i've explained the lamington so let's 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 get back to oh i got too many things open all right so i don't know if i want to make a pie but i could probably make lamingtons i could so 
That's why I need to write. Where's, where's, where's my fluff? I need to have my fluff on, on display. That kind of probably sounds really, really bad. But I don't want to make like huge things. I just want to be able to to make like some recipes that are like fairly easy to to make. Hold on, I've got to grab my phone and go look. <laughs> uh, tell me what to search on Amazon. <laughs> Are you guys looking up the um the the peanut butter coffee? Uh it would be fun. Yes. No, no, no. Seriously. All right, I'm going to I'm going to hit you up on Instagram. No joke. A sort of flavor variety, I'm pretty sure. Do it. Do it. Do it. I usually have cream instead of jam. Oh yeah, that that's that's what I was wondering. All right, cool. So, I don't really want to make a big pie. This I thought might be fun, right? So this it says, so change up ordinary hot cocoa by stirring some dark baking cocoa into vanilla almond milk. Top it off with a plain large marshmallow or berry marshmallow cream. So like make a, so I'll like make a like a hot chocolate and then put some of the fluff in. It, it might turn out to be a disaster, but disasters are fun, right? Like everyone likes to see Mel suffer. That's what I figure anyway. <laughs> Mississippi mud pie. Oh no, mud cake. This cake features a funny. Uh, words are hard. This cake features a fudgy brownie like base topped with marshmallow cream and a nutty frosting. Serve big slices with glasses of cold milk or steaming mugs of coffee. I get. I don't want to make like big things. That's the fluffy bag that I bought, guys. <laughs> Except mine's more fluffier so I didn't buy it from the store but I probably looked this store up for comparing comparing prices oh ribbon fantasy fudge I developed this recipe especially for my husband who likes anything that has chocolate and peanut butter together <gasps> oh my god that sounds amazing Gods uh, that only increase the chance that you're my niece. <laughs> Apparently, she never liked me. Brainstorm, yes. Or even cream with jam. But wouldn't it like slip apart? Like that's because that's what I find with even putting the jam in is that the two the two pieces get all get all slippy slidey together. Bavarian cream is the best. Oh, Bavarian cream donuts. I agree with Scott Bob. I shall. I shall display the fluff. See, look, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just make the show all about the fluff and forget about me. How about that? Ta da! I'm excited, guys. I may have some content that's not Mel. Eating chocolate, it's just Mel eating other stuff. They're in my pack, you know, okay. I'll be honest, everyone, working with marshmallow fluff just sounds sticky to me. Yeah, I know, because uh, um, I'm going to record all this and I, I, I guarantee I'm going to, I'm probably going to end up with sticky fingers. Please don't read that the wrong way, Val. This live stream brought to you by the makers of fluff. Fluff when marshmallows just won't do it. No, you gotta have fluff in liquid form. It actually look like fun. Just choose the first one. Uh, fluff in hot chocolate was a thing growing up. Oh, cool. It does look good, but I don't know if I want to make a cake. That's the only thing. Chocolate cherry. Recipes with Mel time. I smell eating marshmallow fluff. Um, I like how you're mixing it up, keeping us on our toes. Yes. Um, real Bavarian cream, not vanilla pudding. Boston cream donuts are Mad Max's favorite. This whole damn stream is just a giant innuendo. I'm dying over here. I'm sure you are. <laughs> Every time I say something, I'm like, God damn it, Val. Finally, I have content that's not <laughs> eating chocolates cracking me up. Well, I'm I'm happy I'm happy to to crack you up with a live stream. 
All right, let's let's keep moving. Oh, what's that? Black cherry swell fudge. This colorful treat is sure to satisfy the sweetest tooth in any family. It's always been a favorite with my nine kids, eight grandkids, and my bottle study group. Holy moly. I vary the soft drink flavors to get colors that match other holidays during the year. How does everybody like my reading voice? <laughs> oh, that's like my favorite thing. Is that like rice crackers with um, peanut butter? And banana. Ooh, what are these? Salted peanut rolls. A Christmas gift of homemade candy is always a hit with sweet tooth. I dip these. Where's the fluff? Where's the fluff in these? Oh, maybe they're in the recipe. I don't know. Seriously. Peanut and banana. Yes. The... Rice cakes with peanut butter, banana, sprinkle with cinnamon. Oh my god, that's like my favorite snack. I got I got fat snacking on those. It's so bad. Oh my god, they look disgusting. Hey, hey Riley, how you doing? Everybody likes chocolate. Not everybody likes chocolate. I'm I must admit. Sorry, I'm not a giant chocolate fan. But I I think after doing all of these like chocolate things, I've ended up being like, oh, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Now, like my body's getting used to chocolate. I'm like, oh, maybe this isn't such a good idea. A bubble study group high on sugar. Oh, my. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whoopie pies. Yeah, I thought that's what they were called. They're in denial, obviously. All right, let's keep going. All right. Rainbow s'mores cookies. Oh, look. Okay, hang on. Give me two seconds. I need to... <gasps> I nearly lost my fluff off the um, the side of the couch. I need to adjust. Oh. Eh. Eh. All right. Done. I lost my fur. Excuse me while I, while I adjust the background. <laughs> All right, homemade Oreo style cookies are pretty great on their own, but they're even better when you add graham cracker crumbs to the cookie dough, stuff them with marshmallow cream and roll them in sprinkles. You can change the color of the sprinkles depending on the holiday. They don't look too bad, except I've got a feeling that'd probably be like a big batch of stuff too. Lemoncello cream pie. I don't know. I don't know about the lemon. After a big Christmas dinner, we love a cool refreshment of a frozen lemon pie. Lemoncello brings a little sophistication to each smooth, creamy slice. Who am I and why am I reading like this? <laughs> uh, coconut cream chocolates. I'm a proud wife, mum of three and grandma of many. I've cooked many things over the years, including these marshmallowy chocolates. What's in it though? Hang on, can I? Will this go to the recipe? Oh, there we go. Does it show me other pictures? All right, so you need a whole jar. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna like gonna have to buy um more than one thingy of of fluff, guys. Uh, mix marshmallow cream, coconut, vanilla, shape into balls. Although I can probably just like half recipes. Ooh, we skipped. Go away, pop ups. Oh, look, there's the whoopie pies. Um, I saved this jam filled whoopie pie recipe for years after cutting it out of a newspaper. It's one of my grandson's favorites. Yeah, they look all right. <gasps> Sorry, I'm like skipping here. <gasps> Hello, Ash. Life is always better with sprinkles. That sounds delicious and sensual. I'm trying. I'm certainly better with sprinkles. I'm sure many are. Hey, Melissa, you don't have a really strong Australian accent. You sound like a teacher. <laughs> oh, dear. Cloves are great too. All good. You're fine. You can use your... Fractions and how, yeah, I know that's what I was, that's what I was gonna say. I can just make um, smaller recipes, but you know what? Sometimes 
um, fiddling around with smaller quantities actually messes a recipe up. I've, I've tried doing that before and you'd think it's fine and then it just turns up like a big mess. Everything sounds sensual to you, Valhalla. This is true. Fluff, what is that? So, Rally. Hang on, let me. Marshmallow fluff. So, it's an American thing and I'm going to try it. So, I, I am trying to brainstorm with you guys what I can do with the fluff. So, I'm going to do, oh, my goodness. No, thank you. What is with these ads? So I'm going to try and make some recipes with the fluff. And um, try to make some content. I'm delicious and sensual. Nice. <laughs> I already said that. Whoopee. Uh, it's Juju's fault. <laughs> We'll just we'll just we'll just blame everything on Juju. <laughs> Fluff sounds fun. Oh yeah, how are you doing, Ash? Okay, I'm stupid at English, sorry. <laughs> oh, we don't get that here in Australia either. So I had to like order it online from like a like a a store that sells a lot of American stuff. Okadole <laughs> dokele. No bake blueberry cheesecake. Me I don't wanna make cakes. For an uh, an airy delight on a summer afternoon, try this mouth-watering cheesecake from Hastings. Because it doesn't contain eggs, it's lighter, but also creamy and refreshing. How lovely. What is with the cheesecakes? Peanut butter Rocky Road cheesecake. My classic chocolate and peanut butter pairing updates. A tried and true cheesecake filling. I'm guessing you add fluff to these because they're not actually like full-on. I don't want to blame you, Juju. Blame, um, blame Song for that. <laughs> Marshmallow fruit dip. I could try that. I could try doing a little bit of that. That might be interesting because I don't mind fruit. I like fruit. You can whip up this sweet and creamy dip in just 10 minutes. I like to serve it in a bowl surrounded by fresh fruit. Oh, wait. By fresh picked strawberries um, at spring brunches or luncheons. Oh, I'm moving into... Um, I'm in autumn, so we shall see. Easy peeny. Ugh. My God, words are hard. Uh, my sister shared the recipe for this unbelievably easy peanut butter fudge with marshmallow cream. I prefer using creamy peanut butter for this mouth-watering dessert. But the chunky style works just as well. Cool. <laughs> Chocolate cherry coffee, not good. Love strawberry cheesecake, nice. Yeah, because it's just, um, I don't want to make because uh, rally. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna be like, you know, Australian tries tries fluff. So I'm just, I want to try and find um, some smaller recipes to try to make for a video. Who's cooking? Well, not me. Oh no, Ash. I hope you feel better. Cheesecake is awesome. I do love cheesecake, but I just don't want to make a cheesecake. <laughs> I knew she was going to say that. What is that bowl of white stuff? Looks dodgy. It's the, it's the fluff. It's marshmallow in a jar. Cheesecake and pumpkin pie both rock. <sighs> Tacos. Yeah. At least I've ruled out the chocolate cherry. I don't know. I'm grasping at posit positive straws here. <laughs> as long as it's positive. All right. My God, there's 42 of these things. Rocky Road Fudge Pops. These sweet frozen treats are simple to prepare and guaranteed to bring out the kid and anybody. The creamy pops feature a special chocolate and peanut topping. Yeah, that'll look all right. Oh, look, more. Is that more like eggnog cream with spiced... Pecan Raisin Dunkers. Can you freeze some and eat it like ice cream? I shall have a look. I might Google it and see if that's... Because you know how some things don't freeze? 
I have a thing for eggnog and other creamy desserts like s'mores, pudding, mousses and dips. So I turn them into one yummy homemade dunkers. Yeah, well, it's not really it's not really the time of year for that. Oh, we've got cupcakes. Chocolate gingerbread cupcakes. These luscious cupcakes have a touch of semi-sweet chocolate in the batter and white chocolate in the filling. They melt away fast in our house. Again, they're not like super, super like... Um, fluff recipes. What is this? Strawberry ice cream Charlotte. My family loves ice cream cakes, so they were delighted when I first presented this as a... Where's the fluff? Come on, people. Where, where's, where's the fluff? Root beer float fudge. My children have always loved root beer floats, so I came up with this fudgy treat just for them. Sweet and creamy with that familiar root beer flavor. It's always a bestseller at school bakes. Why, why do I feel like these aren't like fully, fully like fluff recipes? I don't like this site. I like food. I've not heard of this dessert. Oh, what dessert? What did I miss? <laughs> Seven layer cake. <laughs> oh. If you want to do food, either I'm cooking or go out to eat and you'll have to pay. Rouge. We're doing dishes gives me anxiety. Really? Never had eggnog. Seen it on Two and a Half Men. Looks weird. Sounds weird. Um, try anything once. Well, not anything. You know what's so funny? Because they they started bringing eggnog out in Australia. <laughs> but there was a um, I, uh, I, I picked up a thing. of I'd never tried it before. And um, the supermarket had it on sale, I think, for like a dollar. This whole big like carton of Bundaberg rum eggnog. And yeah, I think I ended up drinking the whole thing. It it wasn't the best tasting thing in the world, but you kind of had a couple of sips, and you're like, "Yeah, it it, it it's growing on me." <laughs> Fresh lemon, poppy seed, muffins, or banana. Oh, yum! No. Yeah, they do, but I want something, I want stuff that's like full on fluff, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be like, oh, you just add a little bit of fluff to this. Like, no, it's just like, give me like a full on fluff recipe. That's what I'm after. Things we always talk about food. Well, food is a universal language. Eggnog with cinnamon whiskey. Oh, fireball. Everyone's there for you, really. <laughs> oh, that gives me an idea. I wonder you can use fluffing cocktails. Interesting. Let's, 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 oh, we'll definitely have to. Food is community. Food, food is community. Food brings people together. It really does. Sorry to be thick. Do you get drunk off of it? Or do you ha I, would, I would think that you'd have to have loads of it to get drunk. <laughs> that sounds so good right now. Yeah, no, yeah. I hear a male's chat, so I assume you're a female. <laughs> Isn't there a fruit dip? Yeah, I, I, I saw that one before, the fruit dip. I may do that. And then do the do the strawberries. Oh, and grapes. The thing I know how to to make yes, I I wanna make I wanna make the the fluff fudge. Do you food. Or in the case of a of a of a do you make dinner party and soccer teams? <laughs> All right, so what's this? This is hot chocolate peppermint cookies. I don't like mint. And this is like a Christmas thing. <laughs> These chocolate peppermint cookies are a variation of the cookies my mother made when I was growing up. Now my 13-year-old daughter and I bake them together. They're always a huge hit. I want more. 
s'mores cake. That's all I can think of. <laughs> Ooh. Key lime marshmallow meringue tarts. Interesting. I don't know if we – key lime isn't a thing here, though. After spending uh, time last winter in Key West, my husband and I became obsessed with key lime pie. This is my downsized version of one we tried while spending time in the area. Marshmallow cream is the extra special touch. What happened to 25? Look. Look. We have 25 and it skips to 26. How rude. We're missing one. S'mores cheesecake. Oh, well, there you go. This sweet and decadent cheesecake features graham crackers, chocolate and marshmallows. Enjoy. Ooh, lemony gingerbread whoopie pies. These are spice just right whoopie pies combine two popular flavors in one treat. The moist cookies are rolled in sugar before baking for a bit of crunch. I was going to say that the, um, oh, excuse me. Um, I was going to say that the, the cookies actually look like snickerdoodles. Oh, ooh, maybe I can just do like a snickerdoodle like pie thing and just put the, the marshmallow fluff in the center. I'm sure Mad Max would love me making snickerdoodles, so he'll be all on board for that. Cherry cola cake? Cherry cola and marshmallows make a zippy chocolate dessert that is scrumptious topped with vanilla. Where's the fluff, man? Fudge topped brownies. Ooh, brownies. I love key lime. I don't know if it is. Excuse, I don't. I don't know. Is key lime like is it is an actual like key lime, or is it just a type of? Is it a type of lime? Please educate me. <laughs> Hi. So glad your mum is doing better. Okay. Um, it's the key lime that is almost universally locked to. I'm confused. Although that's very easy for me. I can't say much to make myself very good. I need to be rescued. You said food brings people together. Those are stories of cannibalism. <laughs> no cannibalism here. No, no. I chat. Um... Sometimes things get hidden. So, if if you if um if if you if you're writing something that could possibly get blocked by YouTube, then it then it doesn't then it doesn't come up. So that's that's if message that's sometimes when messages can can disappear. Red velvet cake. Oh yeah, there you go. And some are retracted. You aren't going crazy. Um, it's a lime cream pie, popularized in Key West. Very tasty. All right. Aha. So it's a type of type of lime. Because I'm sure, like the lime, like normal limes that I get here, would taste totally different, right? Oh yes, please put yourself on to what is it? All messages, live chat, whatever device you are on. Oh, those pics just make me hungry. <laughs> uh, I'll fancy some fairy cakes here. I'm happy. Sponge cream jam. Nice. Yes. Okay. I thought so. Uh, nothing's been hidden. Some messages retracted. All right, cool. <laughs> I meant to say universally loves, not locked. All good. Now I want to... Now I want to freeze pops of fluff on it. See, this is why I need you guys. I need you guys to like give me ideas. This is just like a stepping board. Um, if you love brownies and fudge, why not combine the two? Mix up a pan of these exquisite brownies for any holiday or special gathering or just when you want to treat yourself. This, this is, this is what I want to make. Yummy cracker snacks because it's like how, how like easy does this look? These treats are my um, my family's favorite. In fact, it seems no matter how many I make, they always disappear. So yeah, so hang on, go to recipe. Go to the recipe, please. Yummy cracker snacks. All right, 
So, like, it's literally what? It's just Ritz crackers, peanut butter, marshmallow cream, chocolate, and sprinkles, which is optional. How easy is that? I want to make these. So, those are on my list. All right, what's next? I was going to say, that doesn't look very good. Pina colada fruit dip. A taste of the tropics will be welcomed by your holiday guests. The cool and creamy dip can be served as an appetizer or dessert. That just looks a bit odd. I don't know if I like that one. I don't know if I like that one at all. How are you still caught up with chat? We need to try harder. Oh, you know what? In some of the chats. I apologize because some of you guys, you know, you, you're just, you're just having conversations with yourself in the chat. And I'm like, well, I'm just not involved in this. So that's why I've just skipped a few <laughs> and I wasn't being dirty. Um, I just did a message and it disappeared too. Oh, I apologize. That's not me. Nordic man would understand hallucinations. <laughs> Jen with no filter knows you well. <laughs> My throat is hurting. I need cold. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to have to... I'm going to make myself a tea after this. My Lord, I've been going for nearly two hours. You're all very, very bad influences. Ash, hot tea and honey. You know, yeah, so... Bourbon is optional as well. Um, so chamomile tea with, with honey is, is a good one. I don't think berserkers could ever perceive actual reality. I don't think they make it through. Am I, am I getting better? Oh, you guys, you flattered me. I'm really not doing that oil at all. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not a doctor, just to be clear. But honey is good for sore throats. Singers have it. Yeah, because I remember um, a Robin saying that she had sort of like hot water with um, with honey. Yeah, so – and I think for sore throats as well, like, um, yeah, like lemon, lemon, and, lemon and honey is good too. Although I could be very wrong. I'm not a doctor. Do not take this as medical advice. Some eucalyptus with that honey. Well, I don't know about the eucalyptus. Although it is, and it's a very Australian thing, so it'd be very hard to get. Professional famous singers. Hey, Darth, how are you? Greetings from the AI. Have, I, I'm not far behind in chat. I'm doing very good. I'm learning. <laughs> You're doing great, well. Thank you. Hey, where am I? I think you're doing an amazing and learning so quickly. I'm very impressed. I do pride myself on being a quick learner. Oh, yay, from doing Saturday work. Cool. I'm, I'm glad that I've got a job of where I don't have to work Saturdays. Although I guess, I guess doing YouTube stuff is extra work. So although I don't get paid. Hmm. Okay, I'll try it. Just not a. I'm not a big. I'm not a big tea person either. But with the honey, it get you, you get some sweetness. Chamomile. Have chamomile tea. I don't know if I could keep this keep up with this much chat. It's not easy. Ah, <gasps> thank you for the like. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, when I feel a sore throat coming on, I take a couple of shots of vodka to kill any germs. Google and doctors say that that doesn't work, but I reckon it does. Well, it's it's the alcohol, isn't it? So that's not why they say to have bourbon. The alcohol kills kills germs. Yeah. YouTube isn't work; it's fun. Unless you hate it as much as I. No. See, if you if you hate it, then don't do it. You know what I mean? I think it's just, I don't know. Well, yeah, like it's, it's work, but not work at the same time. 
because like it, it it can possibly lead to stuff if you get you know what if you're at a point of where you earn money off of it then it's then you could probably say that it's work i went to pinterest to look for recipes and man flush marshmallow fluff is rough <gasps> all right well yeah i thought i'd look at pictures but then i'd probably get really really lost that's why i thought i'd just stick to like a web page of recipes i'll do something rough with marshmallow fluff dude doing great and somehow keeping up a chat or a long island iced tea whoa that's a lot of alcohol man that will do the trick it takes both tea and bourbon option from the whole oh, yeah yeah, I don't know about the whole Long Island iced tea. Isn't that the thing with like a gazillion goddamn shots in it? <laughs> YouTube is work and it's fun. Yeah, you just got to make it fun. Like, like it's it's a right now right now it's a, it's a hobby. That's what it, well my photography used to be a hobby and I turned it into work. So, there you go. <laughs> I don't know if I want to read that. Congratulations. Is that to me? For catching up? Pina colada fruit dip sounds good. It just didn't look good. Like, it, in that photo, it kind of looks like um, cottage cheese. You know what I mean? Like, it looks a little, looks a little runny. I'm sure, I'm sure it tastes fantastic, though. I was gonna. I won't. One of my mods will take care of that for me. <laughs> Worst case, then you get so drunk you forget even how to sore throat. This is true. <gasps> really, I like coconut. I do. I'm a big fan of the coconut. I like YouTube saying that I've got that I've not got trolls or hate comments yet. No, that's awesome. Yeah, that's that's the same. <laughs> I know, right? Doesn't it looks it looks odd. All right, let us let us continue. I caught up in chat. See, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. This also looks like a Christmas thing. Yeah, there you go. Peppermint small tazzies. So graham cracker cookie cups brim with a luscious peppermilk peppermint milk chocolate filling. Words are hard. Sweet marshmallow cream and crushed peppermint candies. Santa and his elves will look forward to these. My God, I'm doing this a bit late. Ooh, that cake looks nice. Rich chocolate peanut butter cake. Combination of mocha and peanut butter will satisfy every sweet tooth. Again, where's the fluff? Oh, well, look, we can see where the fluff is here. It's a stuffed cupcake. Creamy centre cupcakes. My mother made these cupcakes from scratch when I was growing up, but I simplified the recipe with cake mix. Sometimes mum would replace the smooth filling with homemade whipped cream. So I'm guessing the filling in this is, is fluff. All right. Oatmeal sandwich cookies. I feel like I'm going to have to do a sandwich cookie with this. And I'm, I'm, I'm half voting for snickerdoodles. What do you guys reckon? Make snickerdoodles and then put the... The fluff in between. These fun treats put a <laughs> DIY ho ho. You the ho ho. Uh, these fun treats put a sweet, fluffy filling between two chewy oatmeal cookies. The old fashioned flavour is deliciously homey. Always perfect for holiday trays. Now I'm lost. But your mods love me. <laughs> I like coconut in certain instances. Mm. No, I like I don't mind I don't mind coconut flavoured things. I'm not, I'm not a fan of coconut in everything. Actually it's really weird. The the one thing that I used to I specifically remember eating as a kid is a croissant filled with this like coconut filling. 
I've, I cannot find them as an adult. I remember where I got them from and that bakery doesn't exist anymore. I feel like it was a figment of my imagination. <laughs> I think the answer should be yes. Yes to what? No, you're not strange. Everyone just has different, different preferences in flavors that they enjoy. It's what makes us all individuals. Like, what fun would it well be if everybody liked the same thing? I swear I told you, I'm rolling nothing but what? Okay. I'm getting confused. Yeah, it sounds like too much sweet. It does. Some of them cake dips look like baby food. <laughs> yeah, it really does. D and D reference mean you rolled a twenty on your skill check with without modifiers. Therefore, you basically get to tell the dungeon master what happens instead of the other way around. That twenty is only roll a twenty on a twenty sided dice without having to boost your score. <laughs> so you guys are all having conversations without me. So rude. Honestly, I think it was my stream or something. I've heard of sneaker jewels, but again, we don't get them here. We don't get them here in Australia either. So, but I found a recipe years ago and yeah, I've been making sneaker jewels with them ever since. My, my, my husband, so Mad Max is obsessed with them. Every time I mention sneaker jewels, like, oh, where are you making sneaker jewels? You've got to make the sneaker jewels. He literally makes me make sneaker jewels, right? So like this batch makes heaps. And then he goes and gives them out to all of his friends. And they're like, look, snickerdoodles. And I'm like, but I made these. And he goes, well, yeah, we've got to share them with everyone. Sounds like anything that has to be filled with an icing can be swapped for the fluff. Um, so what do you like that has a filling or icing? Make it swap. Mm. That is a... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Fluffer and Edder. Um, yeah, that was the that was the first thing I was gonna try is I was actually I was because so I've been trying to do I've been trying to do research to try to um get my videos noticed. <laughs> so the nerd that I am, I try to get a hundred percent SEO scores <laughs> on my videos. Yeah, I know I'm that person. Um and I'll like so I was trying to do a little bit of research on my whole fluff thing. And the first thing I find is a fluff and So the video is probably going to be like Australian tries fluff and for the first time. Be like plus more recipes and then see where I go from there. Uh, that is the worst meal. I have a list of foods like that. I never have them again, but I'll never forget. how. Yes. See, just gets worse as you get older. The list just grows. Team effort. I have no idea. I know. How rude. My God. Why would you hijack my glory for? <laughs> yeah, you can tell I'm so upset. Chat away at your leisure. I am just here to entertain you. I just had a D&D conversation last night. <laughs> I'm normal, I think, lol. I think I am. And that will do for me. Well... You know, everyone has different foods in their, their little part of the world. Oh my, how far did I fall behind? Jesus. You don't want to be cool for a second. <laughs> Welcome back, Leslie. I'm sorry if I fell behind in chat again. <laughs> We're all pretty good like that. She's going to end up finding fluff. No. Uh, no, no. Mm-mm. Ew. Many hugs. I am my own normal and I'm strange. Normal is relative. It really is, guys. Well, I'm getting through this list. Look, again. Look, 36. Like, where did you go? You disappeared. Ooh, this looks cute. Mini s'mores. Yes, I'm going to make s'mores, but... 
I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna do the thing of where I do the s'mores in the air fryer and see where that goes. Mini s'mores want to sink your teeth into s'mores all year long? Here's the answer. Just combine marshmallow cream, chocolate, and graham crackers for an awesome bite. <laughs> Dog takes up too much time. Well, they're, they're, they're a cute little addition to life. I wish I had one. With equal parts cream cheese for fruit dip or pretzels. Oh, <gasps> pretzels. Oh, my God. I haven't had pretzels in ages. Yes, Darth. We all love you. We all love our Helen. The, um, the s'mores thingy. Normal is setting... Is setting on the wall. Exactly. Mini s'mores, num num. Mm -hmm. You have to use real fire when you make s'mores. No! Do I have to? I don't have one of those like blowtorchy things. And, I, and I've got no outdoor space, so I can't make a fire. God damn, guys, you're taking out the fun of me making s'mores. I vote for fruit dip too. I bet a fruit pizza with the. <gasps> I can make pizza. I can use my two ingredient dough and make pizza from scratch. Guys. You know, now that you mention it, I don't know the difference either. All right. Always trust the fruit to make it better. Oh, I don't know. Oh, you know what I do have though? I've got, you know, like those, um, those little gunny ones, those little things that you flick on. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. Should I just buy a mini torch? Let's just go, let's just go full on and let, let Mel just buy one of those flame torch thingies like they use on like cooking shows fruit pizza with grand cracker crust i don't get grand crackers though i can make an actual pizza and then put the thingy on it big glad for my box my god guys you know i've I, I've had to throw out a few lighters. I, I used to be a smoker. I haven't smoked in like 10 years and I still have like big lighters floating around. I'm like, how are you still here? I guess I just use them for candles. Um, you don't have a family member or friend with an old fashioned barbecue made out of cinder blocks. Well, technically I'm going, my, my in-laws are doing a, a barbecue today. So I'm got Greek Easter on and we're doing like the full like lamb on a spit. I'm going to make sure I take photos of this. I will. Fruit pizza. All right, now I'm going to have to look up fruit pizza. Yes, one of those butane torches. I have one on my table. That exists? Oh, thank you. I'm actually... It was so funny because um, I was like messaging in Discord <laughs> before coming on, and I'm like, I'm, I was like sitting in front of the mirror to do my makeup. And I'm like, I just, I really can't be bothered for this today. But let's just, let's just attempt to do something anyway. All right, let's let's roll along to 38. Irresistible coconut cream pie. Apologies to all those people that don't like coconut. I was just like, what is this thing on my phone? It's rain parrot. Uh, my husband and I grow. 500 acres of wheat. Whoa. On the farm, his family homestead in 1889. I grind my own flour and love to use it in this recipe. Oh, my goodness. I'm not grinding my own flour. No way. Um, the easy patch in crust has a rich grain flavor. It's irresistibly not irresistible, filled with old-fashioned coconut cream and topped with fluffy meringues. I'm guessing the, the coconut... Um, coconut. Guessing the, the fluff is the meringue. Ooh. Simple macadamia nut fudge. I just want a normal fudge that I can make. <laughs> if someone knows a 
nice, easy fudge recipe with fluff, please send it to me in Discord. I will be, I will, I will be eternally grateful to you because a few people have mentioned fudge. My aunt lives in Hawaii and she keeps our family supplied with fresh pineapples, mangoes and macadamia nuts, along with recipes like this one. Uh, when I run out of macadamias for candy making, I substitute pecans. Whatever nuts you use. Neighbours like this fudge so much. They started to call me the candy lady of Cleveland. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> I had to go look if the snow has gone in my backyard. Not quite, but soon. <gasps> Oh my God, that's so good to hear, Ash. My God, you've been like dealing with snow for like forever. I will bake it, but I hate fruit. Yeah. Give me a fruit peel. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll be in the bushes. Have to go get some stuff done. All right, cool. Ah, oh, expert, you're back. You guys are finished. How'd you guys go? Did you get everything that you need? Let's hope so. Oh, thank you. Bye, GGB. I hope I see you soon. Don't disappear on us again, please. It's not nice. All right, what's this now? Cream-filled chocolate cookies. So it's the same as the other stuff. Been making these cookies for years. All right, what's this? Chocolate crunch brownies. Oh, it looks like it's got the, the fluff in here. The first time I took these brownies to work, I knew I'd better start making copies of the recipe. They disappeared fast. My husband and kids gobble them up quickly too. Too much. I'm ready for bed now. Are you really though? Enjoy the bushes. She's trying to find me. <laughs> I wonder if you could use fluff instead of icing on gingerbread man. You probably could, but on the gingerbread man, isn't it like the royal icing that kind of hardens? And I'm guessing fluff does not. That would get really sticky really quickly eating that. Oh, we're getting to the end. Um, why, can't, why couldn't this have like better... Better recipes. Man, I found like one that I would use. I first made this. Yeah, I don't like mint. I first made this minty cool tart for ladies meeting at our church. I'm still making it and compliments keep growing. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ooh, chocolate crunch brownies. Now I'm interested. Yep. So clumsy, that's going to be, that's one of my next ideas to do stuff with. Considering that, it seems like my food content. I'm going to try, going to try the, the food content to see if I can make some more content. So, um, so at the moment, my ideas are uh, food content and my reaction content. I can only just try everything, see how it goes. I mean, my God. Um, my, and my favorite for last Oreo cakes. I love, I love Oreo cake ice cream. Tell us about sneaker doodles. Sneaker doodles are good. Oh, yeah. Now I think I might make the sneaker doodles. They just take so long to make. So. It must solidify somehow for it to be used for all these fudges and cakes. Yeah, but not like just straight on top of something. You know what I mean? So like... I don't know. I don't know. Where is the chip and watch here? <laughs> I'm curious if anyone would be interested in a stream doing tarot readings for people in chat. Clumsy clairvoyance. She's um. She does she does tarot online. So. <laughs> All right. Let let me have a quick look. And see if I can, uh, let's, okay. Mm. 
see, there's one that comes up and it just looks like it's all dips. I don't want recipes how to make fluff. I want to know what to do with the fluff. All right. Let's see if this is any good. Let me have a quick, let me have a quick browse. Let's see if these are any good. My goodness, pop-ups. Is there anything? This is not showing me anything. All right. Let me, let me share this one. And then I will be out of here. I'll go through this quick. All right. What do we think of banana pudding with fluff? Actually, it was a because banana pudding isn't really a thing here. Um, I had it when I was in New York. So what is it? Magnolia Bakery? Yeah. So I had the banana pudding there. And um, there's a donut shop here. So donut puppy. So they they um, have done a stuff with a lot of like American recipes. And they did a whole range of like... Um, banana pudding recipes. So they did like red velvet. They did like um, uh, like a birthday cake kind of thing with with it. They did it for a while. Oh no, I'm falling behind. I'm falling behind, guys. I don't know where I'm up to. Yep, yeah. clumsy. Clumsy is awesome. Oh, thank you, Leslie. Oh, I stream with the tarot readers doing readings for the same person. That'd be interesting. I will figure it out one day. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't pull it up then. <laughs> or stream where you can do all the readings and compare interpretations. Interesting. Oh, and buy a gem with no filter. Oh, have fun with the grandbabies. My God, my voice is starting to go. Dear Lord. Okay, back to bed I go. Have a wonderful day slash night. Or oh, don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you, Ash. And I hope you feel better. Have some, have some chamomile tea with honey. All right, so, all right. Banana pudding. What else have we got here? Summer berry cheesecake salad. I don't know about that. I'm going to do this quick. It's going to be like, this is going to be rapid fire. Holiday peppermint fluff. No. No peppermint, please. Peach fluff salad. Is this all going to be like salad with fluff? Give me some actual like recipes. Oh my God, another salad. Millionaire peach fluff salad. I don't know, guys. Why is there another salad? Strawberry banana fluff salad. I guess I could give one of these a go. Strawberry cheesecake fluff. Yeah, banana pudding. I'll, ma I'll make banana pudding. <laughs> oh, love you, Mel. I mean, <laughs> chat. better behave. That's it. You heard it here. Better behave, guys. All right, let's go. Creamsicle. What's creamsicle? I've heard that before in different, um, like, movies and stuff, but I, I never know what it is. Orange jello and vanilla pudding. Pina colada fluff. Why is this just like these type of recipes? I don't like this. I don't like this side. Raspberry vanilla. Yeah, this is this is definitely rapid fire because I'm. Oh look, who loves Oreos? It was Ash. Oreo fluff. Yeah, nah. I don't. Nah. Let's. Mm -mm. I nearly hit Leave Studio just then. <laughs> I nearly boomed myself. <laughs> All right, let's let's take a quick look if I can. Oh dear. 
And I think there was another one that I saw. I think that's just full of the same kind of, yeah, what's with all these fluff recipes being like dips? No. No. Yeah, they're all dips. Guys. Oh. Well, how long have I been on here? God, two hours and 20 minutes. My goodness. Creamsicle is orange and cream. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I'd like that. Creamsicle was an ice cream popsicle. Orange sherbet on the outside. Vanilla ice cream in the middle. Oh. Okay. Now, yeah, because what movie was it from? Mm, because I said so. That's it. With um, Diane Keaton and... Was it Diane Keaton? I'm losing track of the names. Um, Mandy Moore. <laughs> I love that movie. I love girly movies. <laughs> and so I remember, was it like cause the, 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 main, the main guy in it is, is just like, oh, yeah, I'll buy you an icicle, uh, ice cream or something like that. And she's just like, um, a creamsicle. She's like, oh, no, a dreamsicle. And I'm like, what the hell is that? We're still here. We're still here, so not long enough. Google cocktails with fluff. All right, I will. Peeps of fluff. Why well, am I not surprised by that? All right. Um, fluffing cocktails. Oh, there's, there is actually a fair few. Hang on, wait. No, that's no, that's not what I want. Grr. All right, three. Hang on, let's see. Let's have a look at this. Let's see if it actually gives explanations. All right, let me share this. Present. Share screen. Look, I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. All right, three must mix marshmallow cocktails. See, um, Flame and S'mores cocktail. Where's that? What's that? Black, blackberry cream soda. Mm, I don't know. One shot of blackberry simple syrup, gin, soda water, and marshmallow fluff. Interesting. Oh, look, it doesn't tell you how to make some. Marshmallow fluff. Ginger peaches and cream. What? No. These look really bad. Well, this one looks like it's actually properly got fluff on it. Lemon meringue. So vodka, amaretto, simple syrup, lemon juice, fluff, and crushed graham crackers. All right. Yeah, that was pretty. All right. Let me look up. God, typing is hard. All right, I found you. I found you a cocktail. Oh, actually, no, I want this one. <gasps> Check out this one. Toasted s'mores martini. Look at that. How crazy does that look? That's some good photography right there, people. Toasted, uh, this toasted s'mores uh, martini features marsh marshmallow vodka, chocolate liqueur, and a toasted marshmallow. Okay, well, it's not fluff. God damn it. I'm sure that you could just use the fluff and then light it up. That'd be the same thing, right? So that's interesting. All right, let me go back to the flame and smalls. Let me find that again. My God, I'm like sticking my head so far into the camera. I'm like looking really distorted. Um, that's it's too close for comfort. <laughs> um, hang on, let me let me specify. So, flame and smalls cocktails with fluff. Ooh, hello. What's this? So, 
Drunken s'mores. That looks like it's got fluff on it, right? Um, clothes, rude. Do you love booze and s'mores? Then check out these drunken s'mores or drunken... What? Oh, they just changed the spelling. <laughs> if you just can't be deal with apostrophes. <laughs> Cake? Why are all these different flavoured vodkas? Am I living under a rock? Cream de coco. Heavy whipping cream. Where's the fluff? I will find one. I will find one one day. But anyway, it has been nearly two and a half hours. Thank you guys so much for joining me. What do you guys think of my um my fluff idea? I'm going to have to buy maybe another. Should I buy another two? Should I just buy another one? Because I've got a feeling if I make fudge, I'm going to end up using the whole thing. I'd rather have too much than not enough when I do this. And also, I definitely want to do the thing of trying like American snacks. I'm thinking of breaking it up. So trying out like American candies and then trying American cereals, trying out American drinks. I'll probably die from sweetness and I'm going to have to spend 50 hours at the gym a week. <laughs> but yeah, if anyone has any recipes that they have found, let me know. I will greatly, I will greatly appreciate you. Yes, words are damn hard. <laughs> My cat's nickname was Fluff. Oh, was she a little fluff ball? Is that why you called her Fluff? All right, guys, I will uh, let you get on with your day. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I love you guys so, so much. And like, honestly, I, I honestly appreciate every single one of you that comes in and joins me for chat. If you find Aussie and American versions of the same game, that's a great idea. Oh, no, you know what? Because they actually have some of like, they've got like some Reese's and things like that here. It'd actually be interesting if I have the Australian Reese's and like the American Reese's and see if it tastes different. <gasps> yes, I'm doing grocery shopping. But I'm going to have like my AirPods in and I'm going to be right there. Because your stream, everybody has to check out. Um, Clumsy is doing tarot class very, very soon. How long until tarot class? It's about an hour. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's so educational, so lovely. So if you love the whole tarot thing and want to know more about it, please, please check out clumsy's live um and also check out her other streams as well her her nightly her nightly streams it, they're actually a very very good time for me but they're they're slightly inconvenient for some other people and they struggle staying awake but we love our clumsy and we've got to get clumsy to um 600 before her birthday so if there is no one here that is subscribed to clumsy why aren't you please subscribe and please check her out because she's absolutely amazing we love her so much oh did you be you came out of the bushes Thank you for the stream. No, thank you guys so much. Good day to all. Oh, you guys are super sweet. I love you all. You're going to make fudge. You're going to need more than a whole thing. I found recipes where it's just the one tub. I'm not making, I'm not making fudge that takes more than one tub. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Oh, thank you. An hour. All right, cool. I knew, I knew that, um, that my timing wasn't too far off. Yes, please. <laughs> Take care, Mel. Uh, words are hard. Take care, Mel. Been a great stream. Thank you, guys. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, Juju. Yes, tarot class will uh, begin in around an hour. So please, if you want to check that out. One hour. Oh, blah, blah. One hour. So... Tarot and chakras. Yes, such an interesting topic. I can't wait. And I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm hoping that this will be a normal time stream for me. So like, because this is Sunday for me and generally I do the grocery shopping. So, and this is before that. 
And yeah, so if this is a really good time for you guys, hopefully I will do more at this time. Hopefully I'll have more interesting content. But I love brainstorming with you guys. I hope this has been interesting for you. Yes, Pomsy needs to get, get to 600 before the 26th. So please, please, everybody, please subscribe to Clumsy. We love her so much. Tater tots and chickens. <gasps> tater tots. So we don't call them tater tots here. They're like most of the, the bags that you can get the, the tater tots, they're called potato gems. And I'm like, why does Australia have such a lame name for them? Apologies, Darth. But Valhalla took care of it. <laughs> yeah, no, everyone's lovely. Thank you, thank you so, so much. And um, I'll see you next time. Love you guys.